Well, the truth is that we can't actually ask for divine love to enter another person. Okay. The reason why is because the divine love only enters a soul when the soul itself is open to receiving that love. But we can ask God a lot of other things to help the person open up to love. So, so when we pray for another person, the key is to direct our longings to, to help the person, for God to help the person in ever, whichever way is possible, to open their heart to God's love entering. And what God's constantly trying to do with all of his children is he's constantly trying to help the child get to a point where they will open their heart to love. And, and so the main way that we can help them is firstly, by our own example, opening up to love ourselves. But in terms of helping another, it's very, very difficult to help another if they do not want assistance. He's in doubt. Yeah. Between yeah. yes and no. Yeah. And, and if a person's in that state, they must first move through that state emotionally and to, to get to the point where they really do want God's love to enter their heart. From that moment on, now they're getting lots of assistance, not only from yourself, but also from spirits and other, other people and the law of attraction. There's a lot of things that change. For many of you, you would have watched the... Those who watched the DVDs the first time in the last few weeks since Peter's seminar, how many of you had some emotional things happening within the week after watching it? Can you just indicate? So, quite a few, hey. Why was that? Because the DVDs had the effect of just opening your heart a little bit to some more truth inside of yourself. And as soon as that occurs, your heart now is wanting a connection with God. And as soon as your heart wants it, God gives you some of the divine love. And the divine love softens you up. Right? It turns your heart of stone into a heart of flesh. In other words, it softens you up so much that eventually you can feel more and more and more of your own emotion. And, and in fact, more and more and more of other people's emotion too. Um, so that's the process. Is to You can certainly pray for others to be assisted, but... but they're not going to receive divine love until they personally have a longing for it. <coughs> but obviously if you're living in truth and you're living in love and you're doing all the things that, you know, and you're receiving divine love, that's going to have a very powerful effect on everyone around you. Everyone around you is going to feel the change in you and everyone around you is going to be very much influenced by you. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So the key is to focus firstly on your own transition. Focus firstly on that and, and in that process, part of that will be praying for others to be open as well. But in the process of you opening, your soul will in fact trigger the opening of so many others as well in the process, just automatically. Yeah.